We making a video about hitter. What's hitter? Hey, Power Director peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love. You know, the Power Director love you're looking for from Power Director University. Today, we're going to be making a tutorial on the HDR effect in Power Director 16. So let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 16, and I'm about to throw down on some high dynamic range. Before we get started, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. And I need you to let me know in the comment section below if you like the HDR effect and whether or not you think you'll be able to use it in one of your projects. Let's get down to the HDR basics. HDR or high dynamic range reveals more details in the shadows and highlights by exposing the image multiple times to compensate for the limited dynamic range of your video equipment or your camera. So there's a few different ways that you can get to the high dynamic range or the HDR effect. As you can see, I have a clip down on my timeline. If I right click on this clip, I can then go to edit video image can then go to fix enhance and then I can scroll down here and underneath the enhance section you'll find HDR effect so I'm going to close this out by clicking on this X here and the other way to get to it is by left clicking on the clip in the timeline to make sure that it is selected and then clicking on fix enhance Scroll down and underneath the enhance section, you'll find HDR effect. So I'm going to left click this box here to enable the HDR effect. Now there are two sections under the HDR effect. There's glow and then you also have edge. So let's talk about each section. Glow strengthens or softens the glow on the image. So the strength setting adjusts the opacity of the glow by intensifying or softening the highlights and shadows in the footage. So you can use your slider or you can type in a number or you can use the arrows to adjust that. I already know what setting I want this on. So I'm just going to type it in and hit enter. And now let's talk about radius. So the radius setting changes the contrast of the highlights and shadows. So once again, you got the slider, you got your arrows, or you can type it in. I'm going to type in the number that I want. And then last but not least, you have balance. The balance increases the effect on the highlights when you move the slider to the left or decrease the setting and it increases the effect on the shadows when you move the slider to the right or increase the setting. So I'm just going to type in a number that I want here. So I'm increasing this, which is going to move the balance towards the shadows. And you'll see that it's going to darken up when I hit this. So a little bit darker there. Now that we're done with that, let's talk about edge. So the edge setting strengthens or softens the edge lines in your image or in your video. The settings work the same as the ones above in the glow section, except that of course they're applied to the edge lines. So I'm just going to type in the settings that I want here. And then once you have everything set up how you like, you just go ahead and close this out. And then when you play this back and you compare it to the original footage, you can see how the details in the shadows and the highlights are just magnified. So now you can take advantage of that in Power Director 16. 
All right, Power Director Peeps, I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. And now I want to send a shout out to one of our subscribers, Dimitri D. Dimitri D makes documentaries, culture, and history videos on his YouTube channel. So if you're into documentaries, culture, and history, head over to his channel, check out a couple of his videos, and if you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you guys want to get a shout out request like Dimitri D did, go to the video description and fill out our shout out request form. If you have a tutorial you'd like us to make, head over to the video description and complete our tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction, click on it. It lets people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, questions, you just want to talk or chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button. And after you do that, click on the bell. When you click on the bell, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube, and that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.